So, I get it. I completely get it. You want to annoy the narcissist. They have done so many horrible things. Things that actually horrible doesn't describe why they do these certain things. You want to get your own back, which again, I don't blame you. I completely understand. They have done horrific things. They have made you feel insignificant and unimportant. And that isn't the truth. That is not the truth. So there is a way. There is one way of getting control over this situation. And there is this one method that I'm going to talk about in this video that is going to really help you to move forward from this and get your own back on the narcissist. Watch this video because I'm going to explain this technique. Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So you want to annoy a narcissist. There is only one thing that is going to annoy them. Only one thing that is going to ring true for them. Okay. And I'm going to talk about this in the video. And what I will say to you is I completely understand. There's no judgment here. Why you want to do this because they have just been so awful to you. They have made you feel like you don't matter. They have made you feel like you're insignificant. They have made you feel like you are nothing. And they've made you also think that with their manipulation, with their lies. And also let's not mention the gaslighting, the gaslighting that actually goes on 24 seven. And the fact that they, how many times have they lied to you? Like, I mean, seriously, get your own back. And this is the one method that will really, really work. But before I get into the video, guys, please know that I do go live on this channel once a week, okay? And if you have any questions and you want quick answers to them, I would say join the lives because they are pretty lively and they're such a vibe, okay? And you can get your question answered straight away. And you've also got to check out, you know, the live chat that is going on alongside this stream because that is its own thing. And it's really lovely to see community members interacting with one another in this way. So if you want more information, please see the description box below. Right, so how to annoy the narcissist, how literally to get your own back on this person. I am sure guys that you have probably heard or you've probably read about this or you have probably come across this information at some point because I know that you've probably been researching this and probably understanding, you know, like how to maneuver this. But I'm going to talk about this in the video and I'm going to expand on this. And one thing that you have to realize, all right, that this method, this method is no contact. But what does it actually mean? All right, you're probably like sighing, you're going, Anushka, do you know what? I know this. You've talked about this so much. But do you know what actually no contact is? No contact is actually seeing them as though they do not exist anymore literally like they're dead. So that isn't about checking their social media, checking up on them. Kind of like, you know, on a fake account, because you want to know what they're doing. That's not what no contact is, because you're still interested. You're still wanting to know what is going on. You still want to know what they're up to and whether this new supplier is better than you. That isn't what no contact is. That isn't about not being able to speak to them or message them. And for those of you that have got children, I'm going to talk about this later in the video because there is a way also. But the importance of no contact is this. When you are in a relationship with, or when you have been in a relationship with someone, you form this energetic bond with this person. When they leave, this doesn't just break. It doesn't just stop. The fact that you are placing energy time and emotion, looking at their social media, speaking about them, you know, like talking about them to others, you're still giving the narcissist energy because you're still interested in them. You're still placing time and emotion and energy talking about this person. 
This person isn't dead. This person hasn't gone anywhere from your life. Because remember, if you're talking about someone, you're thinking about them, in your mind's eye, like, you are still bringing them into your reality. You are still bringing them into your conscious. This person literally has to leave that. They have to go. This is how you've got to see it. You are giving them no emotional regard, no energy. You don't speak of them. You don't think of them. It's like you've got to cut this energy with a knife. You know when you think of someone, that person can feel you thinking about them. When the narcissist thinks of you, you can feel them thinking of you. And you know how this, you know how this works. You know, you're going about your day and you're doing whatever it is that you're doing. You're not even thinking about this person. You're not even reminiscing about old times and things that have been going on with this person, but they pop into your mind. That is them thinking of you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a narcissist. It can be a friend. It can be a family member. It can be a sibling. It can be your children can be your pets but we all exist on this energetic web with one another and this energetic web is strengthened the more that you think about this person the more that you speak about them the more that you have some sort of an emotional response to this person the narcissist isn't stupid although we like to think that they are but they're not they are also knowing that you are thinking about them. They can feel this. So when you go no contact, you have to stop all of this. And it's not a fact that you just stop there and then. It's gonna take time for you to disconnect from this person. I get it, I know. But that's what you have to do. You have to energetically disconnect from this person. Because, I mean, what's the alternative? You're forever going to be thinking of them. You're forever going to be speaking about them. You're forever going to be thinking about how awful they were to you. I know they've been awful. I know that this is hurtful. And I understand that you're trying to make sense of it. But there is a way that you move forward from this. There is a way that you turn this around. Perhaps maybe the amount of time that you spend thinking about them, why don't you turn that around and that time that you spend thinking about them, think about yourself, think about you. Put all of that energy and attention onto yourself. When was the last time you thought about what it is that you need or what you want? You are also very important. But when you start doing that, you start moving forward. You don't stay in this mental prison thinking about them, what they have done, why are they, why are they with this new supply? Is this new supply better than me? What are they doing in their life? The more that you start to take your power back, your energy back, is the, way, is the way that you start getting stronger. You start getting stronger within yourself. And that really, what, that really is what no contact is. It's about no contact not thinking about them, not feeling any emotional pull towards this person. This will take time. And it's something that you have to practice on a daily basis. And you will get to a point where this person isn't going to matter, but you need to do this. You need to keep doing this all the time. It's like you have to practice something. You have to keep doing it. Okay, you know, like when you're at school and you're learning and you were learning for an exam, and the more that you did something, the more the repetition is how you learn. The more you've got to keep doing it over and over again is how you learn. That is how the mind is constructed. I wish it was different, but that is how it is. We learn new habits by doing them over and over again. Why don't you spend time meditating, writing in your journal, doing something for you? Why don't you make a beautiful meal, so your favorite food for yourself? Think about who you were before you met this person. Write that down. Write where you want to be in six or 12 months time. Spend time doing that and not thinking about them. If you have children with this person or if you have assets with this person and you still need to keep in contact with them, what I would say to you is, is that you need to disconnect emotionally and cognitively from this person even though you still need to have contact face to face with this person, doesn't mean that you've got to give them any emotion, any energy. Okay, so 
think about it if they're asking you questions you just answer what they need to know they don't need to know any more or any less about you the less the less that they know the better but this is about not oversharing information because they're going to still use that against you because this person is going to be in your life because you have children or you have assets for some time you need to safeguard yourself you need to know that this person uses this information to get back at you okay and understanding this will really help you to not feel that emotional pull and feel so soft around them because they do this they know your triggers they know you so they're going to manipulate that so that they make you feel a certain way you have to be smart about this because you have one life and this is your life and the longer that you stay trapped in this mental prison with the narcissist is the longer that you're going to stay in this wondering why how you already know the answers you already know why this has happened and what has gone on but you have to understand that this person isn't going to change this person isn't just suddenly going to change and be in this loving relationship moving forward that's not how this happens that's not that isn't possible so don't think that this is because of you they make you believe that it is because of you, but it's not. Please know that you are stronger than this. You have to level up. You have to be smart about this, the way that you interact with this person. So guys, if you are going through this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. Please see the description box below. I also offer mentorship and a journal club. And if you're interested in joining, please see the description box below. This is great if you are, you know, doing some sort of counseling or therapy. This is a great way to work alongside it. Because every week, for example, in the, in the journal club, I post prompts. And it's things to help you to work through some things. Maybe things that you haven't thought of or things that maybe need some work around that. So please do check out the description box. And the mentorship is just a level up, a step up from that. I also have a Discord server, which is absolutely free for you to join. And it is a community of like-minded individuals who have gone through similar experiences that you have. And it's a great way to connect with others and to know that you are not alone. And if you would like to join this community, please see the description box below. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in one of my other videos. Goodbye.